This is our fourth and final video that I'm doing today on vector application. And it says um, a 100 pound box lies on a ramp that makes a 13 degree angle with the horizontal. Okay, so once again, these are really tricky to do if you don't draw a picture. So here's a box. And it's, the 100 pounds is pulling it down this way. And this is a 13 degree angle. Okay, and so what I can do is, what we, what we have here is that we've got a force that's pulling it parallel to the ramp, and we've got a force that's pulling it down, and then we, we can break that into looking at those components. Okay, so this force pulling it straight down is 100, 100 pounds, and this angle is 13. Well, so here we have this lovely little right triangle. Um, let me find another color. One. What we have is that if this is 13 degrees and this is 90, then we know that this other one is 77. Is that, yes, okay, 77 degrees right here. Well, I have put in this line in such a way that it's perpendicular to the, to the slope of the, of the ramp. So this would also be 13 degrees, just like that one had been 13 degrees. So what we're, what we're wanting to know, a rope is tied to the box fr from a post. So here's, here's the rope. Here's the post. Okay, so they're wanting to know how much force is on this rope that's keeping the box from sliding down. Well, it's the same amount of force holding it there as it would be pulling it down. So what we need to find out is this side right here. Okay, so let's see. A rope is tied to the, to the box from a post at the top of the ramp to keep it in position, ignoring friction, how much force is being exerted on the rope by the box. Okay, so that's this that we're looking for right here. Well, notice we're back in geometry, and you've got a little, a little right triangle. Okay, so we're looking for this, we could call this x, um, and we've got opposite and hypotenuse, so we can just say, let's switch colors again, we can just say that sine of 13 is equal to x over 100. Okay, so there's your exact value, which is approximately... Okay, sometimes they'll also say, what's the force holding it onto the ramp? And the force holding it onto the ramp becomes this one right here. Um, and if they ask you, because that's holding it down, this is the force that's pulling it down, pulling it down the ramp versus holding it onto the ramp. Um, and this one we would use with cosine. They didn't ask it in this problem, but I have seen others that do. Let's call that, oh, well, maybe I should have called this a K, and it's our favorite letter. And then this one, uh, P. I don't know, I'm just making something up. I don't want to think in terms of X and Y, so this became K and this became P. So cosine would be equal to P over 100. So the P value, whatever I named it, is this. Okay, so plug that in your, oh, there you go. Plug that in your calculator and see what you get. Good luck, you need to practice so that you can do this on your own.